fast. Yeah. <laughs> Right guys, we're going to do a fairway wood fitting for TS2, TS3. There'll be full reviews on that club when it's time. I'm just going to get fit for it now here at TPI with the gang. Uh, we're going to compare it up to my 917. We're also going to talk about what's the best loft for your three wood. Because I think this fitting will show some interesting ideas around loft that you might need to think about. Because I do see a lot of golfers having standard 30, uh, 15 degree kind of fairway woods in their three woods and possibly not always the best option. Let's show you what I mean. Right, so this is my freewood baseline numbers to kick us off. That's, a, that's like standard decent shot for me. Are we on um, normalize? We are. Is that 220, 225 carry maybe? That's just decent. Yeah, that's like that's Good. how I would like to hit my free wood. Right. 225 carry yeah, they, to 240. Yeah, now. yeah, that, that's my free wood. Right. Spinning at what, 35? <laughs> if three, I called it exactly. 3449. <laughs> That's the lower spinner. That may be less carry, but would roll further in real life. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, you got it. 2200 RPMs. Yeah. Carried uh, 201, but rolled to 234. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So depending on the condition, yeah, could that, roll further. Yeah, that maybe? one does, like on to par fives, that just does right. it if it's yeah, dry yeah. enough. Yeah, and that's the 225, 230 carry, I imagine. What yeah, that, yeah. Like. 227. Yeah. Some change. It landed at 39 degrees, so that's going to stop on, on most greens. Yeah. So, I mean, that, I don't, for me, that's tested. Like, that's, that's my free wood. Yeah. So, for me, you know, you hit a good shot on paper. Yeah. Look good in application. Look good flight wise. It can get better, though. Okay. Uh, to me, that sounded a little low on the face. Which lower, one? The second one. Okay. Or sorry, the third one. The third total. one, yeah. And the second one was a pretty drastic miss. So again, we talked about north and south. How yeah. do we get you just east and west? Yeah, Worrying yeah. about where you go left and right as opposed to, am I going to reach that water? Am I going to cover to that green? Am I going to get to my position? Okay. I don't want you to question that. Club being Bye. passed. Being told not to look at it. So, random club, three shots. Just gonna try and hit the same shot. I'm saying that's quite equivalent to the second shot I hit okay. in the group of the first one. Slight fat, high on the face, loses carry, but gains roll. Again, fine. Is this in the same setting as my other? No, can I change it? Yeah, because you see, it's it tailing. Oh, yeah. So this one is now set up the same as my other? It is. Yes. Lie and the weight inside? Correct. So, I mean, I've pulled that, but it, I mean, it, it's maybe dialing that but that's such a straight of flight mm -hmm. like that was I feel that was the shot I hit a definite shift yeah more on left like the free would leak into the right off the deck is just not a shot I want there it is so that's my free wood shot like I wouldn't hit many more that like that's the shot yeah yeah Right, the numbers time. That's what have we got. Let's get to the truth. So yeah. we're going to look at uh, TrackMan both dispersion and launch spin. So okay. um, I think the good news is we got more distance. And that's what you opened with is you'd like to get a little more distance. Yeah, so. keep it maxing out basically. I need my free wood to m top. Mm -hmm. I'm not a tall pro who like not doesn't want it to go too nighty. Like, yeah, if you can yeah. make it go too nighty, like I'll take that. you're done. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we start talking about the loft of the golf club a lot. So we look at yours and you're at a 15 degree at C2. So yeah. essentially you've removed 0.75 degrees of the loft. 
I'd put you in a stock 13.5. Now your three wood right now is getting anywhere from four to five degrees down on the ball. I'm hitting four or five down. So what it sounded like to me is that you're catching a little bit of the bottom of the club. Yeah. Bottom of the club gives you lower launch and higher spin relative to the center of the face. If I remove some of that loft, I get the center of the of the face closer to the golf okay, ball. Okay, yeah. So if you're a player who's gonna hit down four or five degrees on a three wood, I would expect that ball to be a little flatter in space. If you start to see that spin, you might try to cover it even more. Mm -mm -mm. So in this case, I'm looking for the angle to be lower so that you can get the most out of it. So your ball speed jumped from 141 to 144 and a half. So I went from 141 with my 917 to 144 and a half miles with, an hour. With what speed. club? TS? TS2 13.5. Okay, so we went down 13.5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've always traditionally been a 14 degree yep. fairway wood mm -hmm. player. And I started there because of where you had your setting. Yeah. So we maintained our launch angle about nine and a half instead of 10 and a half. Yeah. We lost 200 RPM to spin. So what was this, what with the 13 and a half? Uh, nine and a half in the launch, 2,900 in the spin. So a little both on the low side, but remember, you're down four degrees on Yeah, it. yeah. That's positive feedback for you as a player so that you can say, okay, you know what? I'm hitting down on it. I better see that ball come off a little lower. Just to stop you there, the other thing as well, you gotta remember is, so my fairway shot is completely different to when I tee this ball up. So mm -hmm. sometimes I'll put it on the ground mm -hmm. if I want it on a tee shot not to go left. We mm -hmm. actually played together, didn't we, yep. on the north, and there was a hole where you couldn't go left. Yep. I just put my free wood on the ground yep. and knew it was never gonna go left. Yep. But there are other instances where I'll tee it up and try and draw it in, which is probably gonna get me almost one up. L literally, probably at zero attack yep. angles to fall down. Yep. Um, so if I was to go up in loft, that's just, I mean, I'm mean, off the tee, it's going to become unplayable. For me. Correct. Because you're going to start catching the bottom of the club. Yeah, yeah. More yeah. so than the center of percussion. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the end result, four more miles an hour of ball speed, 10 more yards in carry, 10 to 11 more yards in total distance. Cool. What so, was my longest carry with TS2? 228.5. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Longest total, 253. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is, that's like my my game. That's like the one I'm yeah. always trying to aspire to. And so. not to the right. Yes, which is yeah. by getting, I've had that more upright with a slight draw setting, yes. haven't I? Okay, so should we play with loft? Because yes, obviously should. not everyone is maybe delivering right. well, what I'm delivering. And then, so I'm able to go down in loft in the three woods. Yep. Mm -hmm where I'm arguing, I think for most people watching this video, certainly the people I teach, they come with 13, 14 degree fairway woods. It scares me if it's a club they play right. from the They ground. may not have the ball speed to support that yeah. loft. So it's really about linking to your ball speed, your angle of attack, so that we pick the right loft yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what is my ball speed on those three woods? 144.5 in the TS2 13.5. So let's do a little game then. So I'm gonna play with ball speed and try not to change any of the other angles. Mm -hmm. And we can play with loft to see what mm -hmm. gives me the most. Yep. Cause I think In that's model. a good message for everyone yep. watching who's not playing that game enough. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is the club you've just seen me uh, be fit for, if you like, for my free wood at my swing speed. I'm swinging my free wood around 95, 96 miles an hour. I'm now gonna to attempt to try and swing this at 85 miles an hour to show you the drop off in carry possibly we'll see and then we'll start playing with the loft keeping it at 85 miles an hour now choosing 85 because i would argue that's close to what the average person watching this video and obviously i know there's some of you there swinging faster and maybe even swinging slower but just to give you an idea of how as the speed drops which it does for lots of golfers maybe loft becomes more of your friend and you just your standard free woods off the rack might not always be the answer Seventy nine or eighty? Eighty six. That was eighty. <laughs> Slightly duffy, but you could see that falling out of the air, wasn't it? I just yes. was not going yeah. up. But again, I would say that's a pretty good shot. For, I mean, it's a little bit to right, but for someone swinging at eighty six miles an hour, I've struck that good. Was I eighty six miles an hour? Trackman didn't get the club speed. Didn't get out now, to it. Ball speed has that compared to the ball speed was a little faster. Yeah, so better strike. Let me do another then. It felt the same speed. Eighty 
five. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well done. <laughs> So I kept the speed pretty on the number. What did we lose in carry to how many yards? Yeah, we lost 40 yards of carry. Wow. Launch angle was very similar. Spin rate came down. Yeah, which I'd expect. Slower speeds, yeah. spin it less. Um, your total distance came down 35 yards. And carry came down 40. 40. So a little more run out. So can we find a medium? Can I swing at 85 miles an hour and carry that a little bit further by loft. giving everyone the friend that is loft? Yes. Right, we're now in an 18 degree fairway, which we could call a free word. I mean, call it what you want, really. It's the loft you deliver to the speed, and hopefully you're understanding that. 18 degree, I'm gonna try and hit that 85 mile an hour club head speed again, and see what happens. That was a low heel strike. 87. Yeah, okay, cool. What's the carry on that? 190. So that's instantly Three yards, three yards further and that was a not a equivalent strike. Right. A few mile an hour faster. So what do we see on the more loft? So that was 18 degrees, so I've gone all the way up. Uh, swung pretty much at the same speed mm -hmm. within one mile an hour. Mm -hmm. One mile an hour you could equate to three or four miles an hour all being equal, but obviously right. there's other variables, isn't there? If they open the path and what loft I've delivered. So right. without robot testing, hopefully as close as we can get. Anything more or less, what happened? Well, we saw that your um, your carry distance increased. Okay. Four or five yards. So the more loft carried at that speed further. Mm -hmm. It landed more steeply, it'll stop on more greens. Yeah. So if you use your fairway wood as a green approach club, that's important. Yeah. Uh, we did see a reduction in, in overall total distance with roll okay so it's not rolling out as far. it's not rolling out as far so not surprising so that's where it's a discussion of how do you use this club yeah if you're using it to come in the greens and you need it to stop or you're playing a golf course that has bunkers front uh trouble front or rough front you need you need that carry yeah if you play a course a link style course or one that you can run it up all the time maybe the lower it's a debate works. isn't there yeah, yeah absolutely a discussion and that's before we even start going into tee balls as well as in if i'm hitting that off the tee i presume i i feel i could get even more carry with that added loft because i could. feel like i'm going to push it up easier get it higher on the face so higher launch lower spin um but again i'm not going to roll out as far right For me personally from the tee I want to carry bunkers, I want to carry yeah. stuff. And, and we saw both the landing angle get steeper, but the spin rate went up too. Yes. To the point where we're not maximizing distance with this club, it's spinning at 4,900 RPMs. Yeah. Um, so that's going to say it's not your max distance. Yeah. So the but, question, sorry, go on. Yeah, but we're going to find out how you use that club. Yeah. And then decide whether it's a right one or not for you. Well, that's what I was just about to say. Yeah, I absolutely agree. It's about understanding. And that's why it's so important as we've done this before, that you go to your fitter with this. If they're not getting this out of you, you got to make sure you're telling them. Mm -hmm. I like hitting a cut with this club. Like, can I do it? I like hitting this one high and running it. I like hitting this one low. You need to give them that information to yeah. them really to fit you best. Yeah. So loft is your friend, but it also can harm you as well, really, on that, isn't it? Which, yep. is, which is interesting. Post comments down below. What freewood loft do you use and why? Are you 15, just off the rack standard? Do you do loft? Have you got more loft? Let me know. Post comments down below as always. Speak to you soon.